Hello and welcome to this second tutorial on GUI development. Now the first part of this code is exactly the same as we had in the first GUI tutorial except for the size of the window. I've made it slightly smaller here, 200 times 100. So I'm going to go straight through to the next part of the code to actually add some kind of functionality to the GUI. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a label object here. Now I've called it LBL, short for label, because it's an object of type label, as you can see here. And again, you have to set it equal to this to get this to work. I've opened up a set of brackets, and the first thing you see here is window. Now if you decided to name window something different, which you're absolutely free to do, that would have to be the same here, as this reflects whatever we've decided to call our GUI. And you must have the comma, don't forget that and then set text equal to whatever you want to appear on the label. Now in this case we're going to develop this in the next tutorial to be like a logon screen. So I put into here, enter your username, but obviously the message there is of your choice. But don't forget to put it into speech marks and finally close the brackets. Now the next line of code, this is what actually puts it onto our GUI. So it's LBL, because that's what I've called it here. If you'd named it differently, that would have to be reflected here. Dot pack, open and close brackets. Now this is an inbuilt method in TKinter, which will just literally place it into our GUI, and it will actually put this in the middle of the GUI, and then one below the other as we keep putting more. So it's quite a useful, quick and easy way of placing things into our GUI. Now the next thing here, I've got a comment. Comments in Python you do just with a hashtag. And I've put this here because, again, this is something you haven't seen yet. And I'll go through this with you now. Now the next thing I've got is another name here called text entry. Again, it's your choice of what to call this. But it's a text entry box, so it makes sense to call it text entry. Don't forget the equal sign. And the entry, be careful here. Make sure you put a capital E, otherwise you'll get an error in your code. Open up some brackets. And again, window is what I've called my GUI so you have to use the same word there a comma now this BD equals 5 this basically will make the text area look nicer it's going to give a little border and it will make it look more three-dimensional so you don't have to have this BD equals 5 but it will make it look more professional and much nicer so you'll see that in just a second and then I'm using the dot pack command exactly the same as I did up here to place it onto the GUI. Now finally if you're going to ask somebody to put some information in you're going to need a button for them to submit this which we'll be using in the next tutorial. So for this tutorial we're just going to place the button actually onto the GUI. Again choice of word there is your choice but as it's a button I've called it a button. And again equal must have a capital B there for button this time. Open a bracket window again reflecting the fact that we've called our GUI window make sure you have a comma and then set the text equal to whatever you want to appear on the button and again it must be in speech marks I've got submit it could be enter whatever you fancy click here your choice and then finally close the bracket and then last thing before we enter the main loop is to put the button onto our GUI again using the dot pack command with open and close brackets. Finally, as I showed you in the last tutorial, we do window.mainloop to enter the event loop to open up the window and keep it open until we click on X to close it. Okay, that's the basics. Let's run it and see what we get. As always, save it. And hey presto, here we have. So we've got our GUI now. We've got a nice looking text entry box. That BD command, that's what's giving us this nice sort of border effect, which makes it look three dimensional. Don't have to have it, but personal preference, I think it looks quite nice. So here we could enter our username and we have a working button. Now, this button, although it depresses visually nicely, it won't actually do anything yet. I will come to that in the next tutorial where you'll see how to write some code on how to actually get this to do something with the enter with the username and start to create a fully functional login system. I'll leave you there for today. I hope you enjoyed this second tutorial in GUI development. Have some fun with this, have a play with it, 
and see what you can come up with. Goodbye for now.